Good morning, I'm Darrell Budd. Today we're going to do something a little different. Um, not many dealerships would put actually a totaled car in their showroom, but I was at lunch one day and our body shop manager came to me and said, uh, you should see the car that was hit this morning. It was hit from behind by a uh, Freightliner truck at about 65 kilometers an hour. The, the Freightliner had hit it from the back end of the car and uh, had driven it so hard it drove the back end in pretty much about two and a half feet and uh, pushed the front end of the car as it hit on this angle uh, as he was trying to miss push the front end of the car into the back end of another car and uh, pretty much collapsed the whole front end. Now BMW obviously is known for its safety. Um, one thing that this shows you that is if you're going to be in an accident uh, you want to be in a BMW. Believe it or not when you see the damage on this I walked up to this car, we've done nothing to it at all, I pulled in the door handle and the door opened um, and closes just like normal. The other important thing to notice is the roof. When you look at the roof from here, look at the continuity of the sunroof, it's absolutely perfect. The front and rear collapsible zones which are built into the car, so when you do get into an accident it's like running into a big sponge, um, obviously in this car it worked perfectly because the body integrity inside of the roll cage is still perfect. As you can see, this car was hit so far from behind that the front seat kind of folded up. There's even engineering in a darn headrest. Another interesting thing you'll notice in this car is that um, there's a multitude of airbags and not one of them went off. BMWs have programs built right into their safety system, their computer system, that would designate the right time for an airbag to go off. And obviously, uh, hitting it from behind and pushing it ahead, other than whiplash, there was no reason for the airbags to come off, or just the cost of those airbags. There's no reason for them to deploy if uh, they don't need to, and that would have gone into the system. Um, obviously, the customer that owned this car um, bought another BMW right away. This car was hit last December. Um, November, December, somewhere in that time frame. And again, you don't see any rust in any of those body components at all, even after sitting outside at the body shop for what amounts to about six months uh, in the open air and rain and humidity and all the rest of that. So just goes to show you that uh, what you see sometimes in a car and what you're paying for as far as engineering is concerned, difficult to see until you get into a situation like this, then you realize that it's worth that extra money. So. Um, there it is, it's in the showroom. Come in and look at it and uh, be safe.